Bear at 50 cal. Holy crap. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo! What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. As you can tell, we're in the beautiful lodge. Check it out. It is uh, progressing quickly. We got the windows in. Oh, yeah. But we got a special guest today. Y'all know him. Y'all probably miss him. Y'all love him. What up, dog? What's up? Old Preston. Check out that garage door opener, dude. Sweet. Have you this. have you ever? Yeah, I, exactly. So I ordered a side mount garage door opener. I had it installed. Check this thing out. Watch. It unlocks itself. Oh, that's. I didn't even know it had that. Listen how quiet it is, <laughs> dude. Tell me that is not sweet. That's crazy. It's way better than having that big old behemoth up there. No kidding. Know what I mean? As you can tell, uh, we got a new garage door opener, so it cleaned the ceiling up. And then we got two of these big old 28,000 lumen LED lights up. Yeah, it's, uh, like I said, dog, it's coming along. But this garage door, it's crazy quiet. How quiet it is. Dude, you don't even, it doesn't even make a sound. Uh -uh. But I figured we'd start off in the lodge here, show you some of the updates, and then Preston, your buddy's coming with some darn guns. Oh yeah. What all? What all's he bringing? God, we got some big guns. Got a Barrett 50 cal. Uh, he's got a AR platform that breaks down into three pieces into something like that'll fit in an ammo box. Uh -huh. Fit in the center console uh -huh. of your truck. Uh -huh. Bringing a bunch of machine guns. Machine guns, full auto, and a Barrett. 50 cal, dude, I've always wanted to. It's gonna be so I, cool. I wanna oh. see you free-handed. I tried it the other day and it it's like, you gotta <laughs> hold it up and you gotta wait for it to, it's crazy though. It's gonna be wild. <laughs> Beth, she's on her way home uh, and his friend's on his way. I'll, I, I can't wait to meet him. He's told me a lot about him, a lot about the guns. We're gonna get back there in one second. But a little other update, I think not this year, but next year, we're gonna replace this panel with a window. You said, uh, you said that you seen one you, and you loved it? Yeah, it'd be so fun. You'd be able to look right out. Yeah. See what's going on. Exactly. Check it out up there, dog. What do you think? Pretty sweet. I love it. Everybody's going to love it. Yeah. And then, as well as that window next year, we're going to put a big window right here. But, uh, you know, due to costs and, and budget, I can only do so much. Check it out. The stairs. Yep, these are just temporary stairs on here, two by fours. And then we're gonna put the fancy wood stairs down. Blue boxes, blue boxes, those are all sconce lights that'll go on the wall. So this will be a door where we'll have like ducks merch for sale, maybe some federal ammo, maybe some Sand Hill Flyway hoodies. Yeah. And that's room. And this is a room, and they'll be identical with three beds each. I was worried about the height for a bit, but it's not bad It's at not all. bad. I mean, you're coming in here to sleep. It's not like you're hanging out in here. That's the thing. Like, I'm 6'1", you're what? Short. 5'6", <laughs> 5'7". Five, five, six, five, seven. Five, seven. And you can walk. I can walk all the way over you here. You can walk all the way to the edge, no problem. Me being 6'1", not so much. So, the deal is, short guys up top, you know what I mean? And, but we're going to do one two three beds i'm gonna like it i think it'll work man i think it will i think it will what's real cool is that you know you can out of your bedroom you don't have to go in the hallway you can look out the window and you can see if anybody's up yeah. or you know if you're like i don't know if anybody else got up yet if their alarms went off it's four in the morning and you think you're behind boom yep. look out your window you loving it loving it it's loving gonna be it. sweet it's a little hot in here yeah i need to turn the ac on yeah what do you got here, dog? Duck plucker. A duck plucker. Duck stripper magna American corporation. Huh? I'll be darned. She still work? I don't know. Should we plug it in and find out? Yeah, let's plug it in and see if she, she purrs. Go ahead. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Oh, oh yeah. God dang. We got a pigeon we can test out on it? <laughs> I'll be darned. How old is that old girl? I don't know. Not too old. I mean, I don't know. There's a, what's that say? Well, Serial number made in Preston, Mississippi. Old Preston brought her for the lodge. He said, do you want a duck plucker? And I go, does it work? He said, I don't know. <laughs> Heck 
yeah. Well, that'll be nice. Yeah, some of the guys like their ducks plucked. Exactly. If you're a client and you want to pluck your ducks instead of just breast it, there we go. Big shout out to press. What? Looks like the military is here, dude. I think it's going to be fun. Is that, that is a 22 caliber Gatling gun. Gatling machine gun. Not technically a machine gun. It's weird because you have to crank a okay, crank not, a reel. Gotcha. So it's manual operated. 22 caliber double barrel. Let me find my words here. Gatlin gun. He brought an arsenal here. Let's check it out. <laughs> well, that was quick. How many <laughs> rounds was that? Oh, uh, that was 25. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we are. So Here's Preston's buddy, as people know you. Tell him, tell him who you are and what you got going on. So my name is Mike Miller from Wichita, Kansas, and this is my company, Relum Arms. So we specialize in a takedown stock adapter and a takedown AR-15 system. So this actually is one of our guns um, in 9mm. This happens to be our law enforcement demo one with a Gemtech suppressor on it. And uh, I'll walk around and show you the take it apart and put it together real quick. It's a slick little unit. You showed me earlier, and I'll tell you what. It is, what is it, a three-piece system? Yeah, so you have your stock on the back of it so you can put any kind of stock you want on this happens to be a registered full auto so we don't have a pistol brace on it but gotcha. if it wasn't you can actually put the pistol brace on it um, and this has a five and a half inch barrel on it so yeah pretty much the easiest way of putting it together is this just goes straight down on the back locks into place that holds your buffer and everything into place and then you pull it back a little bit it's pretty much six o'clock straight down 12 o'clock locks into place and you're ready Boom. to go just a plug and play each each part just boom, yep. snap together yep this is a nine millimeter one we have a 200 or a 223556 and the 300 blackout and the cool thing with them is you can put whatever length barrels you want on it so gotcha. you can start off with this you know a different kind of stock you can put a longer barrel on it as long as you know you're meeting the atf rules with a 16 inch barrel and um or longer with your stock on the back that it's actually a rifle stock so yeah so that's uh that's the gun that you make, right? You, Correct. You build this yep. gun. That is that is your company, your gun. Tell tell them the brand again. Relum Arms. R e l l i m, and that's Miller spelled backwards. My gotcha. last name is Miller, so it's R e l l i m. There you go. Now let's show them everything else you brought as well. All right, let's do that. Ho 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 ho! Wolf. Okay, you said 12 gauge silenced, and I. That's not what I had in mind, brother. <laughs> So this is a Silencer Co. Sal or Salvo. This is the 12 gauge one. This is the full 12, um, it has 12 baffles. So you can take this apart and actually they sell different baffle kits. So you could take out three or four baffles. You can make it this short. You can make it up to yeah, eight, 10 and 12. Wow. So it works pretty good with the 12 one. We've shot all of them. This is definitely the quietest. And this is a Black Aces track, uh, Tactical FD12 Pro Series Bullpup. So this, I'm left-handed. So this is actually a left-handed version of it, but it is a sweet shooter it is quiet <laughs> it is nice it's compact and yeah it gets My the job done goodness okay. is the guy able to take that duck hunting no because it's it's a mag it's a fed. sick like five oh it's a mag, mag fed mag, mag fed hmm. but you can put we can't on. we can't put a put a plug in it what's up with that no, but you can put it, put that on a Super Black Eagle or whatever. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine having a silenced gun in the public marsh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Game over. <laughs> what do you got there? I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. It's a... He just unfolded it and it looked like a credit card, dude. It's a little uh, 22, he was saying. So you pull this. No, wait. You pull this back. Oh, there's a the barrel. It up. Single shooter. Single shooter. This, you done came with everything under the sun. Check this out. Describe what the... This is what I'm pretty much... Uh, besides the 12, the 12 gauge with the silencer on it, what do you got? What is that? So this is the Barrett 50 cal. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what we'll be shooting this one here in a little bit. But yeah, no, this is this is what comes with in the case, just like this. Holy with the optics smokes. and everything ready to go. You know what the, the Barrett 50 cal? If you play Call of Duty, if you watch any other shooting YouTube channel, you know what that is. Probably. What do you got going on here? All right, so we got, this is actually an upper receiver. This is our lower Relum Arms one, but this is the upper receiver is the AO, Olympic Arms AO-93. So this move, this gun was made popular in like the movie Bad Boys and Clear and Present Danger. Uh. So this actually has no, the buffer tube and everything is actually built up in the cyst in the top with the gas. So you can actually shoot this without having any kind of stock on. And what's uh. cool about our system is, this is our stock adapter on the back of it. We can actually put this on and now, we got oh, a pistol, so unit. With, the, with the pistol brace we got that, and if you don't want that on there, you can actually take it off and then you can still just have your own little nice. little pistol with it. Well, you done brought the whole military to the house, man. 
<laughs> the neighbors are gonna hear it. I'm gonna have ro horses running hey, through all fences, silent. man. They're all silenced but the 50 cal. Oh great, they're all silenced but the 50 cal. That's exactly what we need. Yeah. Well, what we got going on guys is I have a, uh, a plywood target and a big hill. We got a big hill, what is that? 50 yards you think? Yeah. 50 yards. Let her, let, let her rain boys. Oh my. <laughs> that was 25 rounds. That was 25 rounds, right? 25 rounds. I should have just held it. I blipped it, then blipped it again. Woof! That was fast. This is uh, this is a 12 gauge. He just he just you're just giving us free will. You're like, yeah, dude, go for it. Just go, it. dude. Hey, I, I appreciate it. This is fun. Okay, this is a 12 gauge, five rounds in it. It's actually a left-handed gun, uh, but Preston has used it before. And he said, just keep your just keep your head back. I'm like, okay. He was like, or you can just shoot it left-handed. And I'm like, no, no. You ready? Yep. All right. Is it auto? Is it automatic or no? That's just semi-automatic. Okay, okay. Keep your head back a little bit from that. Like that. Yep. Okay, ready? Go. Not good. That's now you're loaded. Yep. I probably need to do that. Oh, you got to keep it way back. Woo! I'll try it left hand. I felt that on my lip. Uh -uh. We'll go left handed. I want to use my right eye. Okay. Shooting left handed isn't fun. <laughs> I just found that out. <laughs> but that's bad. Dude. Isn't that quiet? It don't even echo. No. It's like shooting a 22. You could imagine that. Shooting oh. that at ducks. Oh. You still filming? Yeah. Dude, don't quit filming. This is too good. I'm filming. Okay, well, next up here. I'm having way too much fun. What do you got going on? <laughs> so got Glock 21 45 cal with the suppressor on it. So this one's been tricked out a little bit, but it is amazing how quiet this thing is. Go yeah. ahead. Spray and pray, baby. Shoot or, yeah, I'll show you. You go ahead. Let it rain. So quiet. We're at 45. I'm used to my ears going beep yeah, right Everybody when you pull the trigger on a, you know, on a knife. None of us have ear protection on here. Yeah, no ear protection. <laughs> the Barrett's not silenced. We better... <laughs> yeah, the Barrett, you know, definitely need something. <laughs> dude, this is a, it's a party, dude. Uh, this is a party. We moved to the 9 mil full auto. 9 mil full auto. Dirt. I know the 22 made me kind of feel like a sissy because it walked up on me. Brrr, it was so fast, you know. Yeah. The 9, if it's even close to being that fast. Dirt, I... 33. 33, 33 rounds. rounds. Just squeeze her and let her eat. Let her eat. Again, y'all. I mean. Oh. <laughs> it took a lot to shoulder it down. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. You have to really pay attention. <laughs> Just send it, son. Give her a good old go. Let her eat. Good lordy. <laughs> That's satisfying. That's so man. fun. Oh. Makes you real happy you're from America. <laughs> All right, well, this is uh, the biggest full auto gun that he brought. Let's just put it that way. And uh, we're just going to blip it. Blip it on and off. False oh, row. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, you definitely gotta like three and four round it. Make sure you stay. It just burp, burp. Woo! Silencers. First time shooting silencers. This is sweet. Wichita, Kansas. You gotta check them out, man. It's local. Dude. I had <laughs> no idea that you're even from Wichita. No, man. really? A lot of people don't, actually. I get that a lot when people say, you know, they see Rollam Arms, they're like, man, we see these guns everywhere, but we don't know you're from Wichita, Kansas. So. Exactly. Born and raised, lived there my whole life. Exactly, man. Yeah. That's so awesome. It's good to meet someone else local, you know. Yeah. Uh, we only live 30 minutes apart. I know, that's not if you want to, you want to check them out. How do they? Instagram, Facebook, yeah, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff. Rollamarms.com is our website. We pretty much list a lot of our stuff on there. But yeah, follow us on Instagram, YouTube. We have a whole channel. We kind of individually go out and look at all these different guns, and we shoot them quite a bit. So yeah, we're always posting something new. Well, all we're missing is Beth, dude. Beth is supposed to be here already. She's missing out. I know. We'll get her on the 50 cal, right? Yeah, she we'll, gets <laughs> we'll put her. Let's <laughs> <laughs> send her straight to that. <laughs> what do you got, son? What do you got? Glock 44. It shoots a 22. Uh, got it silenced, too, so it's super quiet. Sounds like an ear gun. 
sounds like an air gun. Literally sounds like a pellet gun. Yeah, it's crazy. Or a, no, oh, sorry, a paintball gun. That's yeah. what it sounded like. She said it's been three years. <laughs> That's how I felt. Preston gave me that gun. They're like, here, Bob. I didn't even know how to cock the thing, dude. <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> That's, all. That's all you get. Holy smokes. 25 rounds. Boom. That's like two seconds. Not even. I don't even Exciting. know if that's, yeah, it's, it's a, a quick rush. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Holy smokes, dude. You, and you said you built that whole thing. Yep. This was a modified one, and we registered it, obviously, as a machine gun. So. And then we chopped the barrel on it, put a suppressor on it, and made it a little, little fun toy. All right. This is what I need for training Fred here. Got a tennis ball in there. They're showing me all sorts of new stuff. Ready? <laughs> Oh, holy smokes, dude. Wolf, that was, that was sweet, dude. That'd be good. Okay, let me get it. What do you got in there, sir? Do I need to check you? <laughs> I've got this little life card thing going on, a little single shot 22. Never shot this, never fired it. Let's see what happens. Never shot it, never fired it. Never shot it, just got it. So you came to my house to do it? Get just, yeah, just, just for you. <laughs> just for you. Go ahead. All right, do that. I think you just pull this thing back, supposedly. That's the and hammer. Here we go. Oh, hey, it's definitely not it's silenced, it's buddy. It's not quiet. <laughs> it's not quiet. First time my ears rang all day. Well, it's that time. You gonna put this bad boy together? About to. You are yeah? yeah. He said, no, he just made a statement. You can shoulder it, Bob, and it doesn't kick as hard as a 12 gauge. Doesn't, not anywhere close. Really? Yeah, it's weird. That's it's weird, there's so many recoil springs in it. Oh, going yeah. up here. Dude, it's... Call it duty. Yeah, dude, Call of Duty sniping them when you're just camping forever. Oh, yeah. I've wanted to shoot one ever since then. <laughs> it's like a tank, actually, dude. Holy smokes. What a unit. Well, this is how you assemble a 50 cal. I'm glad you know, partner. I haven't seen you all summer. This is what you've been doing with your life. <laughs> Goodness. Barrett 50 cal. Holy crap. We good here? Yep. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I can't find the target. <laughs> all right, ready? Yeah. <laughs> Woo! That was that was an experience. That hit like a ton of bricks. It doesn't hit you here, but like you said, the percussion comes back. You feel it. Dude, you feel it on so, your face and everything. Stand on the side, whoever shoots next, yeah. and you'll feel it hit your chest. Dude, it fit, I have yeah. felt it just Well, here goes Preston. Oh, this thing, the percussion just slaps you right <laughs> in the face. I'm not quite strong enough for this thing. Get it, son. Oh. <laughs> I'm 21 dollars. Yeah. That was 21 dollars. <laughs> <laughs> forgot about that. Yeah, oh, oh thank, oh, man, I need to start wearing these bad boys during hunting season. Y'all been telling me that. Oh. 22 bucks, three rounds. About, yeah. Those were where I got it for seven bucks at Cabela's around, pretty much. Sweat seven bucks around. Seven bucks around. Holy smokes. Dude, my goodness. <laughs> seven bucks, money flies. Money flying like pigs. For cushion from this thing, we'll blow these things back a few feet off the table. Oh, really? So we're gonna set it up, you can see We're gonna do video. a little science experiment, eh? Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> no, <I'm> just... <laughs> she's nervous. She's like, no. Don't make me do it. It's not as bad as me, but just make it's sure like you got a shotgun. Yeah. I mean, it's just make sure your shoulder. Yeah, it, make sure a whole lot of. Honestly, it's just a percussion that's worse yeah. than a 12 gauge. Yeah. It's not about how it kicks. I never thought. Uh, look at you. He's manning a camera and a phone. <laughs> Alrighty, that's serious better. time. Okay. You want me to film you? No. 
<laughs> you got hit by the bottle. Uh -huh, I told you. <laughs> oh, Isn't that crazy? That was awesome. Yeah, Holy off. smokes. <laughs> that is that is a weapon. That is a powerful weapon. I've never encountered something so powerful in my life. Dude, that's gnarly. For an old Kansas boy, that's, you know, we don't get to see any everything. No. We don't get to see that every day. Oh, this garage door, I'm telling you what, it is sweet. Well, it is the next day, and as you can tell, we're back in the lodge. Yesterday was so much fun. I got to shoot so many guns that I have never shot before. I've never shot a full auto 22. I've never shot a full auto M4. I've never shot anything suppressed and every one of those guns were suppressed. It was so awesome. Big shout out to Mike at Realm Arms in Wichita, Kansas. Look him up, hit him up on Instagram. He's got an awesome company going on. Check out his guns, his products, amazing stuff over there. Thank you again, Mike. But the old lodge, the old lodge, lots of work has been done. The wiring, that's where we're at right now. So next step, all the wiring has to be finished. Yep. All the can lights have to be plugged in, blah, blah, blah. Thank you, Brandon, for all your help. You have been amazing. I got some good buddies that have been helping. Big shout out to all my buddies that have been helping out with the lodge. As you can tell, we pulled all of the old wiring out. That was due to, we found a lot of mistakes in the wiring. So it's like, let's just redo it all. So that's what we did. But next step is gonna be sheetrock time. Gerald and I are gonna get down on some sheetrock. Gonna be a lot of work. But today we got two things to open. We got a letter from, it doesn't say, and we got this right here. Uh-huh, I have an idea what it is, but I'm not quite sure. Dude, what's up, Carter? Carter, thanks for your letter, 11 years old. He's been watching my videos for three years. He says he loves to watch all of Fred and I's adventures, and he even wished me a happy Father's Day. You must have sent this on Father's Day, and I'm just now getting it, buddy. He says he can't wait for duck season. Yeah, well, I can't either, and I'm sure a lot of you can't wait as well. But thanks again, Carter. If you guys want to send anything, letters, packages, signs for the lodge, uh-huh, feel free to. The P.O. box is linked down in the description. Just make sure it's legal, respectful, safe, and nice. All right, all right, this is pretty cool. Check this out. Dude, big shout out to Grady. Grady is the only name that I can find anywhere on the packaging. Check this out. Printed both sides of each one of these bad boys so you can mount them however and wherever you want. Sand Hill Flyway Lodge, how sick is that? They look awesome, dude. Again, if you guys are gonna send anything, anything at all, but especially anything like this, First of all, thank you. I hope your name's Grady. It's literally the only thing, uh, only name that I could find. If you guys send something, send a letter, something with it, with your name, with your company, any way that we can show, that I can show you appreciation uh, by giving you a shout out or, or something. Make sure you provide that information. Holy cow. This is sweet. How sweet. Those are the gifts for the lodge that I love receiving. Thank you, Grady, dude. You, you're amazing. I really appreciate that. That's one heck of a gift. All of the stuff that we get like that, it's gonna go up in the lodge, especially in this room right here. This will be the locker room. So we're gonna have a bunch of random stuff on the walls, probably a bunch of stuff that you guys send. So again, if you guys wanna send something, make something like this, holy cow. Send it to the P.O. box. The address is down in the description, y'all. Big shout out to Grady. Big shout out to everybody that sent something. Big shout out to Mike for, and Preston for bringing the guns. My goodness, that was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was different. Um, if you guys want more shooting videos like this, let me know. I, I, I really wanted to get Beth out there and get her unloading some... Uh, some machine guns, but I really wanted her to shoot the 50 and she didn't get too darn it. Maybe we'll do it again. But subscribe if you haven't hit that little notification bell down there. Huge shout out to my notification gang. But until next time.